Installing mods in CurseForge is actually extremely easy, but one of the first things that you need to do is to make sure that you've got the version right. So, uh, for example, I've got a bunch of different Forge installations, and since uh, T Launcher comes with a bunch of mod packs uh, and modding platforms installed, you can just select what platform you want. So, uh, I am currently running, uh, which one I'm running? I'm running, uh, yeah, Forge on version 1.2, 1.4. So I'm going to have to look for Forge mods, but if you want, you can select uh, Forge, Optifine, Forge, Optifine, Fabric, and all of these others, and you can just press this button to install them. All right, so I'll head back to my release uh, now, which is uh, this particular one. And now what you need is to download mods. Now, how do we do that? Well, uh, we can either just click on this link that will take you to T launchers mod packs where you can search through all of the different mods and install them. Uh, let's go to filter release type uh, game version. Okay, so release type force because that's a mod loader I'm using. Game version 1.2 1.4 because once again that's the corner uh, mod I need and uh, it's found 39 mods. So you can just scroll through them and uh, install any of these mods. So uh, some of them come with entire mod packs. For example, you can see a list of all of the different mods that this particular mod pack includes. Um, there's an optimization pack here. Big world. Okay, that makes some big claims. Let's go ahead and click on the install button. And this mod will automatically be installed and ready to go. So release perfectly optimized and that creates uh, a separate release for you. So if you click on enter the game and now, uh, thanks, I already did. So what this tells you is that your working directory is different from the mods that you may have stored in some other directory as well. The thing about installing mods with a T launcher is that it uh, actually creates a new profile for every mod you install because of which you run into these problems so if you want to download mods uh, a number of them at the same time without using unnecessary mod pack you're going to have to change the way uh, your uh, you install mods for t-launcher which is essentially getting the jar files and then moving them across so as you can see right now uh, t-launcher is going to launch this particular instance of minecraft and uh, of course it works with forge and my mod should be installed by the time this game launches. Okay, mod pack could not be started. So yeah, uh, this way we're going to run into some problems, but the easier way of installing this is to just uh, select the version that you have. So for example, if I have Forge, I'm going to select Forge. And instead of going to T launcher mods, I'm going to head over to my browser and go to CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is one of the best websites for Minecraft mods. You can just select a uh, Minecraft, click on browse all. And now we can go ahead and select our mod loader, which is Forge and the game version, which is 1.2, 1.4. And now this will show you all of the different mods that are available for you to install. Now I'm going to try out a mod called uh, Journey Map. And here it is. So now go ahead and click on this mod to open it up. Under game versions, make sure it's right there. Make sure you should select the right game version, which is 1.1.4 for us. And it will now give you all of the different files that you can download. We are using a forge. So we're going to download this particular file click on it, click download, and just sit and wait for the download to begin and finish. So should start any minute now. Yep. All right. So this is going to download a jar file. I'm just going to save it in a folder where I can find it easily. And the file is downloaded. Cool. So now if I open up my folder, as you can see, I have the journey map jar file here. So we're just going to cut it from here, head back over to T launcher and click on this folder icon. This will open up your Minecraft directory that T-Launcher is using. So head over to mods and just copy the file that you just downloaded in here. Now I already have journey map installed, but this is a different beta release. Uh, so I can go ahead and delete the old version of journey map and it should still work. So now we can close this 
and click on enter the game and as you can see uh, this should probably get the mod up and running in no time so uh, forge is scanning the mod and downloading any files that it needs and once it gets up and running you should be able to play the game Uh, sometimes a mod can take some time to uh, either transition onto your PC or load because sometimes Minecraft may have to download additional things. So as you can see, if I click on the mods folder here, I should be able to see journey map with the new beta. We were using 41 before and now it's 44. Click on done. Now if you can head over to any world that you may be playing the game in and your mods should be running fine. And here we go, journey map is up and running in the background. And that's it. That's how you can install mods on T Launcher. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, give us a thumbs up and come back for more Minecraft content.